Hey guys, uh, Sarah here again. I know I've been gone off of this channel for a long time, but I've been up to other things, so I am kind of want to get back into doing just random videos here and there. So, so I've really been into conspiracy theory videos lately, and I came across kind of a crazy one, and so I, and I know I'm kind of late on this, like this was popular what i don't know a couple years ago or something but i just watched a video that was made in 2019 about it and then i was kind of googling it so today i wanted to talk about the google translate conspiracy theory and i'm kind of late you know getting to this conspiracy theory but like today was the, the first time i've heard about it so i decided to do a video about it um i did a little research myself and so I guess Google, I guess people contacted Google to, you know, fix the problem, the issue. So the conspiracy goes that if you go into Google Translate and you translate from Somali to English or from Igbo to English or Ma Maori, is that how you say it? To English. And you type in like weird things, two letter sentences, or not even sentences, but if you type in weird things, or you type in things over and over again, you get weird responses, like kind of doomsday and religious responses. So I was kind of messing with this theory, and I thought they would be interesting if I kind of explored what's going on with this. So I guess people, you know, I guess they've fixed it somewhat because I was trying to do it from Maori and I was just typing in random things like they said and and I wasn't really getting much. So I guess they fixed some of it. But then I was messing around with the Igbo and I kind of got some crazy results. So we'll get into that right now. So I started off by typing in prophecy, um, and I did that from Igbo to English. So it started giving me like symbolized, symbolic promise, exemplary promise is confirmed. And then I just thought, okay, I'm going to keep typing this and typing it because it's kind of giving me some interesting words. And so, I mean, you guys can kind of read what it's saying. I mean, symbolizing the promise of living according according to the promise and I just kept pasting prophecy and I'm going to just let you guys read what comes up every time I keep pushing prophecy in because it kind of gets crazy and it's kind of creepy to think if you type prophecy in this much like it keeps changing and it keeps going to something different but the same you know what I mean so I'll just let you guys read it, and it goes on for a while. I did it for a while, but it's kind of crazy.
Then I decided to type in death, just to see what would come up. It kind of got weird. So it said the death of a mysterious man, supposed to be confirmed, has finally been confirmed, and has finally been confirmed in the city of the world. Exemplary promise, yada yada. So it starts talking about the death of a king of the world. So I just keep typing in death multiple times, just to see what kind of sentences, what kind of words it starts giving me. So it's getting kind of creepy. The death of the dead man who's supposed to be confirmed, like, who is this dead man? Like, it's really weird. The death of the death of the man was confirmed, then it goes death, 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 and then it just gets weird. What I think is interesting here is it says the death of the deceased. The death of the deceased was a result was the result of a remarkable event in the event of a remarkable event whereby it was supposed to be confirmed by the two-year monarchy which was supposed to be understood by the people of the world. So when we type death end of the world end of the world end of the world death prophecy all this comes up. So, I mean, that's kind of weird. What do you guys make of this? Like, I don't know if this is some kind of code or uh, prophecy, you know? And Igbo is spoken, I guess, by Nigerian people. By The, the Igbo people are, are in Nigeria. That's what I kind of Googled and gathered. So, I don't know if this is related somehow to that, but... Or if this is just a glitch in, you know, the translation from Igbo to English, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? So I ended up typing in a lot of different words to this Google Translate, and I decided to do the word cult and kind of do words that would maybe trigger something, sort of words like prophecy, cult, you know, stuff like that, that I thought you know, could be questionable, and maybe it would, you know, give me something good. So I typed in cult a bunch of times, and it kept talking about cult, um, which is the only one in the world, a religion. Cult, it, it would say is not a religion. And then it, it just gave me a lot of weird, weird answers the more times I typed in cult. And, I mean, just look at some of these translations, if you will. And what do you guys think of it? Like, it is not the first time this has been done. It is a great idea to have a life. It is not a matter of time, but to be sure. It's a very important part of the process. Like, are they trying to say that a cult is an important part of the process? That cult, is it a religion? They're saying it is a religion. It's not a religion. Like, it's very confusing and very weird, the words that pop up that are associated with this. 
So I'll just let you guys read these and tell me what you think, because they're kind of weird. I just want to point out that when I'm typing in cult, it's saying it is a great way to get a good start in your life. It is a great way to get a good start in your life. The cult, the cult, which is a religious tradition. So is this trying to brainwash people in a way, maybe, or send out a message somehow saying that cult Cults are good, like cults, whether religious or not religious, are a good thing to have in your life, are a good way to start life. I think that's sending kind of mixed messages, but it's also very weird. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think. So I couldn't make this video without typing in Illuminati. So at first I'm typing in Illuminati and it's just coming up Illuminati, right? And then... It starts saying the greatest hits of the best of the world. Which I think it's kind of strange because I think of the Illuminati as Hollywood, right? And that's, you know, the greatest and it's an illusion, Illuminati. I know they're words that go hand in hand, but it's just kind of strange the words that kind of come up. It's like it's an illusion, an illustration of the Illuminati. It's just kind of weird, like the wisdom of the world. Isn't that what the Illuminati is about? Being the wisdom of the world? Like, I thought that was kind of weird. There's some connection there with Illuminati and wisdom. And then there's the wisdom of the Holy Spirit, which I think is interesting that it mentions that. And here's a doozy. Anatomical illumination is an abbreviation for the anthropomorphism of the world. What does that even mean? And then it makes an interesting transition into, you can use it to create a new environment. Huh. Like create a new Hollywood, maybe? Or a new world order? And I thought another interesting word would be to type in space. You know, outer space, maybe something weird would come up. And not much came up with this. Space is the space of a space. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of space, a lot of filling with space. But I wanted to point out that it says, space is a very important part of the world. And... That's interesting. I, t I tried typing in alien, and I didn't get anything besides alien. I tried UFO, didn't really get anything. But space. Huh, that's interesting. Space is a very important part of the world, and I agree. But that makes me think, what else is in space? Aliens, possibly? I mean, I think so. But the space is so vast that there's so much more out there that we don't even know exists and I mean not like this is proof that that is true but it's just interesting the last thing I typed in was find me I don't know I thought that would be an interesting thing to type in and kind of got some interesting things I found myself in a situation where I had to find out where I had to find out what I was doing. I found out that I had to get, find a way to get out. I found myself in a situation. Yeah, so, I mean, this one's not too crazy. Not as crazy as the other ones. But it's just weird. That typing find me over and over again gets you some weird answers. Or translations, I should say. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. If anyone has typed in other weird things and weird things come up too, 
for their translations. I would love to hear about it. Um, let me know what you guys think about this sort of conspiracy theory. Is it just a glitch in Google Translate? Uh, is there something deeper going on here? I mean, I don't know. I just think the things that come up are very weird. I don't know if someone's behind those translations or, like I said, it's just a glitch. I'm not sure. Tell me what you guys think down below. And if you guys have typed in other weird things, I would love to know what translations you get. Uh, yeah, it's really interesting. So, um, yeah, just let me know uh, in the comments. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.